Hey, this is Deepman Driver here, back again. And what we're going to do now is, what we're going to work on now, is building the bulkheads for the MD-80. Now again, everything you see here you can do on any airliner you want to build. From the A380 to the A318 to a 707 to an MD-80 or a DC-8 or a DC-6 or whatever. Now, this is blue fan fold from Lowe's. Remember, Home Depot is pink foam. Lowe's is blue. Real simple. If you live in Europe, live in the United Kingdom, Canada, different parts of the world, they have similar products. Sometimes you have to go to um, home builders and construction corporations to find, you know, and part suppliers that, you know, deal in um, construction, things like that, to find these products. In Europe, this is, you know, this kind of stuff, Depron is expensive in Europe. So... That's why a lot of guys like to work in balsa and plywood. So, okay, here's what you do. Now, MD-80 bulkhead that we use for hot wiring, right? Okay, you take this and you put that over your, over your foam, like so, and you basically draw out a cutout, all right? Now, take your razor knife and you cut out this chunk of foam, I would say this foam is four to five millimeters thick. There you go, you cut that out. Always be careful cutting into yourself with a, with a knife. Okay, I use two techniques to do this. I'll show you two techniques. There's probably more, but I'm going to show you the two most simple techniques to use in creating your end cap bulkhead and your um, sectional bulkheads for your airliner. All right. Let me get my camera set up here, so you guys see everything. All right, here we are. Take your foam, place it down on a table. Take your bulkhead, place it down over the foam. Take a pen, make sure it's working. Okay, you trace with your hand and with the pen your bulkhead right into the foam. Now you can use balsa wood for your end cap. You can use Depron. Hell, you can even use cardboard if it's light enough. So you draw it in, and there you are. There it is. Now, one way of getting this out is you can hand cut it with a razor. Hand cut it. You know, you cut it out of the foam, or you hot wire it. That's what I do. I take this cardboard cutout, place it down, and I hot wire it. Now, in order to save weight, I also cut a circle of out of the foam, out of the top and bottom portions of the um, of the bulkhead. And that way, you save even more weight. I'm now in, in my planes and designs. I'm using weight saving holes in the main bulkhead, I mean in the main bulkheads, the rib fuselage bulkheads, and in the backbone to save weight. I'm trying to get my planes lighter and lighter and lighter but re and retain the rigidity and strength. Um, let me give you an example here. Right behind me are two TU-134s and my 707. And here is the black bunny, or the big bunny. And um, in the TU-134s, I implemented the weight-saving technique, where the backbone has holes cut in. And the fuselage bulkheads, which you can almost see through the Depron, have holes cut in. So this design even though this plane is, is pretty is considerably bigger than the 707, this is an 80 inch long fuselage, and the 707 is a um, 72 inch fuselage. Even though it's you know it's sitting on a piece of foam, so it, it's up higher than the TU-134s. But this plane is the same weight now as my 767. Okay. But the small aperture of the engine cowls don't doesn't allow 
for the same thrust that I was getting from the engines on the 767. So I have to jump to a higher thrust EDF to get this thing in the air or to get it flying convincingly. So this plane, this 707, my 767, and some of my other first airliners did not have the weight saving technology or the weight saving holes cut in to make it even lighter. Um, you know, now all future planes and all planes currently being built, the TU-134s, the Concords, the MD-80s, even this, the Big Bunny, and the L-1011, and other future planes like my Convair 880 and the, and the Caravelle, all will incorporate weight-saving holes that allow the plane to be lighter. So, with every version, we get lighter. I'm trying to make these planes lighter and lighter and lighter so that I get better short, uh, you know, I get better performance. I get better takeoff performance. I get better air, you know, a lighter airplane just flies better. So, you know, that's basically, you know, what I'm trying to do. And um, that's why these holes come into play. Now, you can hot wire this and um, or you can hand cut it. Either way, it works fine, and for the MD-80s that I'm making, that I'm mass producing, this will be cast. I will make a mold of the two molds, or actually three. One mold will be a bulkhead, one mold will be the top bulkhead for the fuselage runners, and a bottom, so I can mass produce these with pourable polyurethane foam. So they'll, you know, I'll basically be my own foundry creating parts, nose sections, you know, nose sections, tail sections, engine nacelles, and, uh, you know, and be able to mass produce kits and air parts and all that kind of stuff. So if I crash a plane, um, I can basically just make, make a mold and make a copy of a part and be right back in the air. Well, after some painting and stuff like that. So, all right, so that's how you make your uh, bulkhead. Blue foam, Dow, Lowe's, cut it, hot wire it. I'm going to hot wire it, but if you want to cut it out, you just cut it. You hand cut, you follow the line, you follow the line and you cut it out. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. It, it's not rocket science here. This is pretty straightforward stuff. All right. And coming up soon, probably in the next month or two, I want to do an easy build um, prop air, airplane, like maybe a Ford Tri-Motor out of cardboard. Something you can build at home, real simple and easy, and something real fast, like you can build in maybe a day or two days. Real simple, real straightforward, very inexpensive for under 100 bucks. a big 8-foot wingspan Ford Tri-Motor. That'll be fun, huh? All right, this is Demon Driver. I'm out of here, and thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hey, this is Demon Driver, and I want to show you how you sandwich cut your um, internal bulkheads that run down the length of the MD-80 or whatever airliner you want to build. You take your two pieces or more of foam. could be Depron. could be whatever you want. Just make sure it's foam. If you want to hotwire it, and you take your cardboard cut up, place it on one side, place the second one on the other, line them up, and hot wire it. And you get two perfect cuts. Um, I'm using a smaller, uh, more accurate scroll table hot wire. I have a bunch of hot wires. I have handheld, and I have the scroll table. I have a big wand, which is variable power. But I'm going to use the scroll table for this, and I'm going to get a more accurate cut. I'm going to cut these out and then cut the uh, weight saving hole out of the center. This is the top portion that will ride the backbone of the MD-80 and there will be smaller, this is the smaller underside which will be underneath riding the uh, underside. Okay, so that's how you do that. Sandwich it and then cut it. All right. Hey, this is Demon Driver here, and um, what, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, uh, now I'm gonna hot wire 
the weight saving holes out of the bulkheads. Upper bulkhead, lower bulkhead, cardboard cutout stencil. I'm going to cut it out to save weight. We got to save weight. Alright, before you do this, always open up, you know, I'm going to open up the garage door, get some fresh air, because we don't want to melt plastic indoors, not small. <laughs> 